The City of Mobile is mourning the loss of District 2 Councilman LaVon Manzi. The longtime public servant passed away last night after a long battle with an illness. NBC 15's Justin Moore has more on his life and legacy. Justin? Yeah, Mayor Sandy Stampson calls uh, Councilman Manzi a friend and colleague. He and many other leaders say this loss cuts deep. And what was your last conversation with them? So, Mayor Sandy Stimson tried to keep his emotions together while sharing memories of the final conversation with his friend and colleague, Councilman LaVon Manzi. We were encouraging each other. Uh, actually, I had an opportunity to pray for him, and uh, we had the opportunity to tell each other how we felt about each other. The District 2 councilman passed away after a long battle with an illness. Stimson says Manzi was determined to persevere through life, even after doctors diagnosed him with kidney failure at the age of 14, which resulted in two transplants. Tremendously grateful for the things that he did. In 2008, he became the youngest person ever elected to Mobile County School Board. While serving on the board, he led the passage of a $100 million construction bond for school renovation. Mobile County School Board President Dr. Reginald Crenshaw released this statement. LaVon Manzi is going to be greatly missed by the people in our community. What he did for schools in his district will last a lifetime. In 2013, he decided to make a run for the Mobile City Council. It was a childhood dream for the Murphy High School and Troy alum to serve his community. We've done at Ann Street what's being completed at Baltimore Street. This just makes sense to move forward, and I'm glad that we're in a position to do so. Three weeks ago, he and Mayor Stimson held a news conference to announce renovations to Texas Street, a project Manzi fought hard to get done, and one of his most proudest moments as a councilman. He said, and I actually had a text from him uh, the day of the election. We were texting back and forth, and he said, you know, we've got a lot of stuff done, but we've got a lot more to do. Now, no word yet on a memor memorial or funeral arrangements for the councilman. Our hearts go out to his loved ones. He definitely will be missed. Greg, Kim.